Number three is going to be a whole lot of histrionics here, but it's ultimately going to result in the same thing. It's going to be at the equivalence point, and we're going to end up doing a diluted conjugate species. I've, been, I've given you KB, so we're going to end up doing a diluted conjugate KA problem for whatever the resultant concentration is after these two guys mix together. So, at first glance, maybe you can't tell that this guy is at the equivalence point, but we can figure it out. So, we've got our strong acid here, so that's going to be 60 90ths of 0.45 molarity. So, 60 90ths of 0.45 molarity is going to be 0.3 molarity of my strong acid, H3O positive, because again, nitric acid is essentially H3O positive, dissociates 100%. And then for my other one, I'm going to have 30 90ths or a third of 0.90 molarity, and that's going to be 0.3 molarity of this guy here, C5H5N, who has a KB of 1.5 times 10 to the negative ninth that's there. And you can tell that these guys are at the equivalence point because they are both 0.3 molarity. Now, it didn't look like that up here. But once you do the dilution factor and realize that you are at the equivalence point here, then you're in pretty good shape. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up doing a uh, reverse conjugate diluted system um, with these guys. Now the long way about this, again, is H3O positive plus C5H5N, and that's going to come over here and make H2O. And then uh, HC5H5N positive. Uh, but um, um, we don't want to do math that way. Water is on the right-hand side. And so, again, we are going to take our 0.3s that they gave us. And we're going to take them all the way over and then flip it and turn it around the other direction. So this is HC5H5N positive plus water is going to come over here and make H3O positive and C5H5N. And the reason we like that is because it's going to be Ka. Water is on the left-hand side. I'm going to start with a 0 0.300, and all of a sudden we have taken this extremely complex situation and turned it into a simple trivia quiz one type problem where we have simply turned it into a Ka situation that's here. Now, I don't have the Ka number, but I can get it. Uh, they gave me Kb as 1.5 times 10 to the negative uh, ninth. And so Ka then 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 1.5 times 10 to the negative ninth is going to be uh, 6.67 times 10 to the negative one, two, three, four, five, six. So 667 times 10 to the negative six, that's going to be equal to Ka. So this is 667 times 10 to the negative sixth. So that's an I, a C, and an E. This is going to be minus X plus X plus X to be 0.3 minus X, X, and X. Again, if you like the quadratic, help yourself. I don't, so I'm going to get rid of it because we have an extremely small number. So <clears throat> for the 57,000th time, this is going to be x squared over 0.3 is equal to 667 times 10 to the negative 6th. So times 0.3 square root him, and we end up then with x equal to... 1.41 times 10 to the negative third. And my x here is indeed straight up equal to H3O positive. So if I were to take the log of that number and uh, take the opposite sign of it, I would get a pH equal to about 285 plus tax. So again, all of these problems are done the same way. The trick is to recognize what play is being run here at you. And as soon as you identify that this is going to be an uh, end-around reverse, then it's easy to defend against it.